When a banker makes a loan, he needs to collateralize his investment. He needs to have something to back it, to secure the investment, so to speak. So when the international bankers make loan to other countries, they often secure the assets or the national resources of that country. And that's part of the reason the bankers want to make loans to third world countries or any other country. So they can control the assets, they can control the politics, because those that have the gold rule. So what we're finding all over the world is the world's oil supplies, the world's um, lumber, fisheries, whatever natural resources the country have, they become collateralized, they become tied into loans that are being made through the IMF and the World Bank or other commercial banks. I know, I used to make loans for Lloyds Bank out of the Los Angeles branch. We used to negotiate with other bankers and countries for different amounts of money and it was always tied into some kind of control over resources. And now what's happening, there's a very small group of people that control all the world's resources and as a result, they can control the pricing. And what you see is they are making incredible profits while other people's profits are being squeezed. The amount of money that the working man or the average man or the taxed citizen is making is getting squeezed while the amount that the ultra rich are making is growing. And you can, you can just look at the numbers. You don't have to believe me. This isn't a conspiracy theory. This is economics. The 1% of the world is getting richer every year consistently over the past few decades where the average human being, particularly the American as an example, it's going down and down and down. And that's directly attributable to the laws and policies that have been put in place by our government under the pressure of corporations and their lobbyists. Pressures on the judiciary, pressures on these laws that prefer tax treatment, moving and encouraging a business going abroad to China. It's destroyed our economic base. This is criminal. The people of the United States have to stand up and say, no, enough. We've got to protect ourselves. We've got to catch on. We've got to wake up.